So what's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert topography to a topo solid. Okay, so this project originally created in Revit 2023. That's why there's still a topography because as you can see right now in Revit 2025, there is no topography option here anymore. Okay, you can only use the topography if you are using Revit 2023 below. Okay, and then if you're using Revit 2025, you can convert this topography to a topo solid. Okay, so let's do this. So you just need to select topography and then you can see here the option generate topo solid. So let's click this one. Okay, and then there's uh, information here. So when generating a topo solid, consider the following. So subregions are converted to topo solid subdivisions. Railings are rehosted automatically. Other hosted elements need to be rehosted manually. So that's fine. So I will be using my first floor as my base level, and then I'll be using this family type topo solid one. So just select OK. All right, there you go. So I just created now my topo solid. So as you can see here, highlighted topo solid and floor overlap. So it's overlapping my floor with the topo solid. Okay, so that's fine. I'm going to select here OK. So if I'm going to hide the topography, so let's go to the visibility graphic overrides. Let's type VB and then look for topography so i'm going to hide that and then i'm going to hide as well the topo solid i select here okay so as you can see i already have a flooring here so that's the reason why there is an information or warning that's pop up here that says my topo solid is overlapping with the floor because i already have a floor here and it's being overlapped by topo solid so going back to my visibility graphics override i'm going to turn on my topo solid okay i'll just leave the topography hidden okay there you go so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to edit my topo solid okay so on revit 2025 there is no building pad anymore okay so as you can see topo solid only and then side components there is no uh, building pad even if i select my topo solid there is no building pad here but okay but there is this tool that is called excavate okay so select intersecting geometry to excavate a topo solid which is what we are going to use so this is a new feature in revit 2025 so excavate so use excavate with floor and roof elements to create a void area in a topo solid all right so let's do this one so i'm going to make sure you select your topo solid and then look for modify topo solid and then let's look for excavate okay so there's actually a couple of options here so excavate and then the other one is remove excavation okay so i'm going to select here excavate so let's click that all right and then the, let us now highlight the floor here so maybe i'm going to can I just select from here? No. Okay. That's fine. So as you can see, as I hover my pointer, it highlights some of the floor, right? You see that one? So this one as well. So there's a floor. So if I click that, like for example, um, this one, I think I'll just change that to wireframe so I can see it. Okay. So you see there's the floor. So I'm going to click that. So it will create a void there. So if I change this to shaded, so there's now the void. So there's the floor. So basically you need to select the floor. So I'm gonna change this again to wireframe and then select this floor here. Again, it will create a void. Let's double check, uh, shaded, there you go. Okay, so let's just change this to wireframe so I can easily select, easily select the floor. Click that click this floor there you go what else so this one is floor two the decking this one as well this one as well okay there you go so no more 
No more floor to be selected. Okay, so what's that? So it's that floor, so floor. Alright, and then after that, uh, just select here modify to terminate the tool. And then let's change again our uh, visual style to shaded view or realistic view. Okay, so let's have a look. So taking up some time because I selected the visual style realistic. There you go. See, there's now the void there. Okay, so no more topos uh, topo solid that is overlapping. Now, if I want this, this part here to be removed, this area here. So what I can do is I can just extend this one. So maybe up to here. Okay, so that I will be able to remove this area here. Okay, so I'm going to select this floor and then I'm going to edit that. So edit boundary. All right, and then I'll select here top. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, then I'll just use the peak lines option and then I'll select this line here. There you go. And maybe I'll also select this line here. All right, and then let's use stream extend to corner, this one, and then I'll select this and then this one here. Okay, this one and then this one. And join. Okay, and hang on. So let me just undo. So I am extending this up to here. All right. So here, here. And then I need to select this and delete. And then this one delete. Okay. So I'm just extending that part there. Okay. There you go. And then after that, just select your finish. There you go. And then just click outside. Ah, uh, click the modify. As you can see, it's now uh, removed because I created a floor there. Okay. That's it. Okay. So by the way, if you want to avail the exercise file that I'm using so you can click the link on the description of this video so I'll put a link there so you can go there and then avail it okay just check out the video description of this one all right and what else that we can do here so I think I'm going to add my site elements Okay, so let me go to my uh, architecture and then component, place a component. I'll go to properties. All right, so I'll use this uh, planting trees. Okay, so these are the planting. So I'll use uh, red maple. So just place that. Okay, so maybe I'll change first my detail level and then my visual style to hidden line so that it's not it's not uh, difficult for me to place these elements. As you can see, these elements, these trees are following up the topography. Okay, so it's lining up with the topography of my uh, site. So as you can see, it's highlighting. Right. Okay, that's it. So these these trees are lining up with the contour of my topography. All right. And then let me just change this to shaded view. Or realistic view. There you go. Okay, so that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.